Hey everyone. So today I thought I would share with you what we've been using for science for our first and second grade boys. This year at the beginning of the year I asked the boys what they had wanted to learn about this year and they both agreed that they wanted to learn facts about animals. So I looked for some curriculum on animals and I could not find a curriculum on animals that just gave facts, like basic facts about animals, they all went into too much detail. And so I would have really have liked to use a Christian curriculum, but I couldn't find one that gave us what we were looking for. So what I did find is these National Ge Geographic Kids, sorry, National Geographic Kids big books on Amazon, and they're about $10 each. And these are exactly what we were looking for. So I'll just give you a peek inside these first, and then I'll explain how we have been using it. So the pictures in here are really, really beautiful though. So the whole first part of this book is all on insects. And then at the end of the book, they show you bugs that are not insects like spiders and pill bugs and different things like that. So we've actually finished this book now, the big book of bugs, and we'll be starting the big book of birds next week. So different kinds of ladybugs. My boys have really, really enjoyed these books quite a bit. They get very excited when they learn all the different facts that insects can actually do. So, yeah, so this is what it looks like inside. And then this is the end of it. It tells you about bugs that are not insects. And so this is the only book that we have finished so far, like I said. So all of the beginning, the beginning of each insect, it tells you what its name is, and then it will give you the basic facts right here about where it lives, the food it eats, how many eggs it lays at a time, what its predators are, Let's make sure you can see, and then it gives you the size comparison to your hand which my boys actually really liked that for some reason, being able to stretch their hand out and imagine how big the insect would be. So yeah, this has been really fun. So now that we've finished it, we are at, we have been doing this. At the end of the book, it gives you parent tips and it gives you different things that you can do. So like an observation or things you can do online right now, we are working on this one, the Beatlemania Arts and Crafts. We're actually, it's what it tells you that you can do is um, go back to the chapter where it tells you all about the different kinds of beetles and make a poster about it that they can hang in their room. So that is what we are doing, except we're not just doing it about beetles. I let the boys pick what they wanted to make their poster about. So my first grader decided to just pick four insects or bugs that he really liked and he's putting those on his poster. And then my second grade son, he decided that he wanted to do it all about spiders, which is not my favorite, but he loves it and that's all that matters. So <laughs> we'll be starting this one next week, like I said. And this one also is very beautiful. In the beginning of each of these books, it tells you whatever the book is about. So this one being birds, the bird basics, like what makes a bird? Why is this, why is this animal a bird? And it does the same thing in the one about bugs, like what makes an insect, what makes a bug? So this is what the inside of them look like. And yeah, they're just really fun. I'm excited to get into this one. So, okay. So we've got four, we've got bugs, birds, big book of ocean,
And then the last one that we have is Big Book of Animals. So how we've been using this is, so far what has worked for us at least, is in this book, it starts each, chap each chapter with, like this one is busy insects. So it's about ants and bees and wasps. So we'll just read through two of the different kinds of ants or bees or whatever it is. We'll just do two insects or bugs at a time. So we would do leaf cutter ant, and then we would read through army ant. And then once we got here, we would stop and we would read this the next time. So they would read two insects and then they have a notebook, which looks like this. And they would just write the facts that they learned or something that was interesting for them and then draw a picture. So this is my second graders and this is what he's done so far. So it's been really, really fun. And we've actually really enjoyed it, so. And I was worried because it's National Geographic if it would have evolution type stuff in it, which we don't believe in, and so I was kind of concerned about that. But we've only finished one of those books, like I said, again, and it didn't have any evolution stuff. It really just gave the facts about the bugs and insects, so. Yeah, so this is what we've been doing, and it's worked really, really well. So I think that we will get through by the end of the year at least um, three of the four books, and then we will work on the big book of ocean last, and we will do this next year, just in the beginning to, of the school year, just to finish it up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.